Blessed is our God always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God, glory to our heavenly King, comfort of the spirit of truth. Everywhere present and filling all things, treasure of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us. Cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before him, Christ our King and our God. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my iniquity and my, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only I have sinned and done evil in your sight, though you may be found just when you speak and victorious when you are judged. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner, when my mother had conceived me. For behold, you have loved truth, you have made known the, sec the secret and hidden things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. You shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than the snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the afflicted bones may rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all of my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and establish me within your governing spirit. I shall teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall be turned back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you have desired sacrifice, I would give it, but you will not be delighted in whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. God will not despise a broken and humbled heart. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall offer young bulls on your altar. Then God, attend to help me, O Lord, and make haste to help me. Let them that seek my soul be ashamed and humiliated. Let them turn back and be ashamed that wish me evil. Let them turn back immediately in shame and say to me, hurrah, hurrah. Let all that seek you, God, exalt and be glad because of you. Because of you. And let them that love your salvation say continually, the Lord be magnified. Poor I am as a laborer. O oh God, help me. You are my helper, my deliverer. O oh Lord, do not delay. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear to my supplication in your truth. Hear me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant. Before you, no one is living will be justified. The enemy has pers pursued my soul. He has lowered my life to the ground. He set me in darkness like those long dead. My spirit is despondent within me. My heart was agitated within me. I remember the days of old and meditated on all of your deeds. I pondered the works of your hand. I have spread out my arms to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Hear me quickly, O Lord. My spirit has become faint. Turn not your face away from me, lest they be like those who go down into the pit. Let me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I put my hope in you. Show me, O Lord, the way and where I should walk, for I have lifted up my soul to you. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I have fled for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. You shall quicken me, O Lord, by your namesake. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. And in your mercy you shall exterminate all of my enemies, and you will destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Ο έρον την αμαρτίαν του κόσμου, ελέησον ημάς ο έρον τα σαμαρτίας του κόσμου. Πρόσδεξε τη δέησιν ημών ο καθήμενος εν δεξιά του Πατρός και ελέησον ημάς. Ότι σήμωνος Άγιος, σήμωνος Κύριος, Ιησούς Χριστός, εις δόξαν Θεού Πατρός αμήν. Καθεκάστην εσφέραν ευλογήσωσε και ενέσω το όνομά σου στον αιώνα και εις τον αιώνα του αιώνος. 
Κύριε καταφυγεία γεννήθησιν μην εν γενεά και γενεά, εγώ είπα, Κύριε ελέησόν με, ή ασύ την ψυχή μου, ότι μαρτώνσι. Κύριε προσέ κατέφυγον την ταξό με του πίνητε το δειμά σου, ότι εσύ ή ο Θεός μου, ότι παρασύπηγη ζωή σε το φωτί σου οπτώμε το φως, παρά την όν το έλεό σου της γινός σου φύσε, καταξίωσον Κύριε εν την ηχητά αυτή και να μαρτή τους φυλακτήνε ημάς. Ευδοχητός η Κύριο Θεός των Πατέρων ημών, και είναι τον και δεδοξασμένο το όνομά σου στον αιώνα και εις τον αιώνα του αιώνος αμήν. Γέννη το Κύριε του ελεός σου φυμάς, καθά απελεπίσαμεν επί σε, ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόμερ τη δικαιωματά σου, ευλογητός η δέσποτα, συνετιστόμερ τη δικαιωματά σου, ευλογητός η Άγια, φωτιστόμερ της δικαιωμασής σου, Κύριε του ελεός σου στον αιώνα, τα έρεχα και χειρών σου μη παρήδεις. Η πρέπει ένωση, η πρέπει ύμνωση, δόξα πρέπει, το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Υιό Πνεύμα την ίν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. I believe in one God, Father, ruler of all, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not created, coessential with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnated of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And he resurrected on the third day, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, and spoke to the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I await the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. It is truly meet to call you blessed, O Theotokos, the ever blessed and all blameless one, and the mother of our God, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and are truly the, tr truly the Theotokos, you do we magnify. <laughs> Και λόγον έρεξο με τη βασιλή Δημήτρη, και όπτισο μεν πέτρο πανηγυρίζον, και ασογηθόμενο τα αυτιστα θαύματα. My mouth shall lie open wide, and it will thus be with spirit filled. A word shall I then pour out unto the mother and queen. I will joyously attend the celebration. And sing to her merrily, louding her miracles. O holy Theotokos, save us! O maiden and virgin pure, the great archangel beholding you, the animate book of Christ, which by the Spirit was sealed, did exclaim to you, Rejoice, O joyous container! For whom shall the curse upon the primal mother be loosed? O holy Theotokos, save us! Rejoice, virgin bride of God, the restoration of fallen man, the mortification of Hades, O all blameless one, and the palace of the only King and Sovereign. Rejoice, fiery throne of the ruler over all, rejoice. <speaking in Hebrew> Τον μήλον τον εύωσμον και ρε η τέξασα, το ως φράδιον του πάντων βασιλέως, και ρε απειρόγα με κόσμου διάσωσμα. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. O treasure of chastity, rejoice though you, though through you have risen up. From out of, all, from out of our fall rejoice, sweet smelling lily that sent, Forth this fragrant scent, O lady, to the faithful, aromatic incense and costly anointing oil. Tu simnologus theotoke, isosa ke aphthonos pigi, thiasus ikrotis andas, nematikon stereoson, ke endi thia doxisu, Stephanon doxis axioson. Establish your servants who extol you, O Mother of God, for they have formed a spiritual choir for you, the living and abundant found, and crowns of the glory graciously 
in your divine glory grant this unto them. Most holy Theotokos, save us, the land that has tillered the divine stock, while clearly continuing until rejoice, O table and image that held the holy bread of life. Rejoice, O never empty fount of living water, O blessed one. Most holy Theotokos, save us, the heifer that mothered for the faithful, the unblemished bullock, O rejoice, rejoice, the ewe that, yer, that yeaned the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, O mercy seat, rejoice, who fervently expedites. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the luminous morning that alone brings Christ, the Son of Righteousness, rejoice, O dwelling place of light, rejoice, dispeller of the dark, rejoice, for you diminished utterly the dark and demons of Lucifer. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice only, veritable Eastgate, that only, that only the Logos has gone through. Rejoice, for in your giving birth you shattered Hades' bars and gates. All louded one, rejoice, divine, entrance of those who are being saved. O Catimenos en doxi epithronu theoditos, en efelicu filthen isus, o hypertheos, ya kirato palami que diersose, Tu scravgas ondas, doxa Christe ti dinamisu. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Unto you in faith, unto you in songful voices, do we loyally say rejoice, mountain rich and curdled, in the Holy Spirit all lauded one rejoice. O seven branched lampstand and the golden jar, with the manna that sweet in the senses of pious folk. Peragia Theoto Kesosoni Mas, Ilastiri on du Cosmo, Kere Akrande Despina, Kere Climax Yithen, Pandestaniptos Akariti, Kere Yefira on du Simetagusa, Ectanatu Pandas. Prozoin tu simnunda se. Most holy Theotokos, save us, more exalted than the heavens. O immaculate, may rejoice as the one who carried earth's foundation painlessly in your womb. Rejoice, O, rejoice, O Murex, who died, who died in your own virgin blood. The divine purple robe worn by the King of the angelic host. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lady, you tru truly you gave birth to the divine giver of the law, who erases freely everybody's record of lawlessness, incomprehensible depth and height unspeakable. O oh, unwedded maid, Rejoice through whom we are deified. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. We extol you who have woven the unwoven by human hands, crowned of hope and glory for the world, for the world of, of virgin and say rejoice to you the fortification and the citadel and the protective wall, and the sacred refuge for everyone. Sestita simbanda epitithia doxi su sigar apiroga me parthene, esces en mitra ton epipandon theon, que te toja sacranon ion, pasitis simnusis eso diria brevevonda. Most holy Theotokos saevas, Rejoice, for you carried in your womb the way that leads to life. Bride of God, rejoice, O blameless maiden, who saved the world from the flood of sins. Rejoice, all inspiring message and report, 
habitation of the one who is Lord of creation all. Most holy Theotokos, save us, the might and the fortress of the human race, O spotless one, O rejoice, the holy place of glory, slayer of Hades, the bridal chamber of light, delight of the angels, O rejoice, Helper of the ones who pray to you faithfully, O oh, rejoice. Most holy Theotokos, save us, the fiery chariot of God, the Logos, O oh, rejoice. Lady, living paradise, old garden, which in its center contains the tree of life. The Lord, whose deliciousness gives life unto those who eat with faith, who were subject to decay. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Your power enheartens us, we loyally cry out, rejoice unto you, the city of the great King, about which glorious and remarkable things perspicuously have been declared, O unquaried mountain, and depth unfathomable, rejoice. Both now and forever, and to the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, O immaculate, the spacious dwelling of the word, oyster that produced the divine pearl. Rejoice, O lady, exceedingly wonderful, reconciliation with the Lord. For all who beatify you, the mother of God, each day. Si antapti ke pandimon de lunde se ortini se ofrones si se omitoros defte taskiras kisomen ton exapti se extenda se on luxas ondes. Let us possessed of a godly mind, observing this divine and all venerable feast in honor of the Theotokos, come clap our hands while glorifying God who was truly born of her. Most holy Theotokos, save us the undefiled chamber of the word for all the cause of deification, O immaculate rejoice. The prophet's echoing prophecy Rejoice in the adornment of the apostles all. Most holy Theotokos, save us. From you has dripped a refreshing dew, undoing polytheism's fervor. And we therefore say to you, rejoice the fleece that was wondrously bedewed, O holy virgin, which Gideon foresaw. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Behold, we cry unto you, rejoice. Become for us an arbor and anchorage, for we are tossed about upon the sea of adversities and of the many scandals of him who wars with us. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. O cause and reason for holy joy, cause holy grace to shine on our reasoning that we may cry. Rejoice, O unconsumed bush and shining cloud that overshadows, ceasing, that overshadows ceaselessly the believers all. Uke la drep san tiktisti theofrones para contisanda ala piros apilin andrios pandis andes queron de sepsalon y perimnite o ton pateron kirios que theos evlogitosi. Most holy theotokos save us. We sing hymns to you and shout rejoice, O chariot of intelligible sun. Rejoice, O veritable vine that culture the ripened cluster dripping with wine, making glad the hearts and souls of the faithful who praise and glorify you daily. Most holy Theodoro, save us. Bright of God, rejoice who carried in your womb the healer of the human race. Rejoice, O mystical rod, that blossomed the flower that will never wilt away. O lady, rejoice, through whom we are fulfilled with joy. 
and inherit life eternal. Most holy Theotokos save us, insufficient is the tongue of any orator, for him's extolling you who were exalted above the seraphim, having given birth to Christ the King, whom, O Lady, beseech the tr the, to rescue now from every harm those who bow in faith before you. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the ends of the earth, extol you and pronounce you blessed, and they cry out to you, Rejoice the tablet on which, O pure one, the word was by the Father's hand inscribed. Intercede with him, O Theotokos, to enroll in the book of life your servant. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. We, your servants, now beseech you and we bend the knee of your heart, of our hearts to you. O pure one, lead us anear, lend us a near, and save us, for we are drowning in adversities. And your city redeem, O Theotokos, from the hands of the infidel invaders. Eda sevagi senti camino, O Tokos, tis Theotokos, di esosato, totem endi pumenos. Ninde and her woman os, the Kumen in Apas and the Girip Salusan, Don Kirion in Niteta Erga, Ye Peripsute, his pandas to Seonas. Most holy Theotokos save us. You welcomed, you welcomed into your womb the Logos. You held in your arms the one who holds all things. With your milk you nourished him, who by a nod gives nourishment, O purest maiden unto the entire universe, to whom we sing, O praised and supremely, exalt the Lord, O all you his works, unto the ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us, the glorious mystery of your childbirth, did Moses perceive within the burning bush, Children once in Babylon vividly prefigured this. For standing in the midst of fire, they remained unburnt, O oh, undefiled and all holy virgin. Therefore we extol you in hymns unto the ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. We who were left naked through, through beguilement, have worn through your pregnancy the garment of incorruptibility. And we who were sitting in the darkness of our errors now have contemplated the light, O dwelling place of light, O holy damsel. And therefore we exalt you in hymns unto the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Diseased have been quickened through your power, for pregnant were you with life hypothesized. They who once were speechless now speak with newfound eloquence. Diseases are exterminated, lepers purified, the legions of the aerial spirits. O virgin are defeated, for you are men's salvation. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. O birth giver of the words of the world salvation, through you we are raised from the earth unto the heights. Ever blessed maid rejoice, fortress and protective veil. O pure one, the defense and the fortification of all who sing the hymn, O oh, praised and supremely, exalt the Lord, O oh, oh, you his works, unto the ages. Aquas ye genis, kirtato to pnevma ti lavandur humenos, panigirizeto de avlonomin fisis gererusa, din ieran panigirin tis teomitoros, Que voato, que eres pamacariste, teoto que agnia y parcene. 
most holy Theotokos save us, so that we may cry, Rejoice unto you, through whom we the faithful have become sharers of eternal joy. O maiden, rescue us from temptations, O barbarian invasions, and from every scourge which are bound to follow on the multitude of transgressions con committed by sinful man. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Since you have appeared, our light and our surety, we therefore shout to you, O unsetting star, rejoice from which the great sun emerged unto the world. Rejoice, O pure one, for you open eat and close the vault. O rejoice, the fiery pillar ushering humankind out of bondage to life on high. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Come and let us stand reverently with the temple of our God and say, Mistress of the world, rejoice. Rejoice, O Mary, the lady of us all. Rejoice among women, you alone are, bl are blameless and fair. Holy vessel which accepted the divine, inexhaustible ointment poured over you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, pure and guileless dove who brought forth the Lord of mercy as an olive branch. Ever virgin, O oh, rejoice, the boast of every devout monastic saint. Rejoice the crown of laurel of the martyr athletes. Rejoice the divine adornment of the righteous soul and for us the believers deliverance. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Spare us, O our God, your very inheritance by overlooking now all of your iniquities. O Christ, accepting for this the fervent prayers of her who without seed conceived on the earth and carried you, who in your great mercy and your great love for man will to take on the form that was not your own. Ipermaco stratigota nikiti riam os litrotis atondi non varisti. the fourth stanza. Theotoko, so virgin, you are the fortress for virgins and all who run to you for refuge. For the maker of heaven and earth, O immaculate maiden, thus constructed you. He inhabited your womb and instructed all how to address you. Rejoice, O pillar of the virgin station, Rejoice, O portal of men's salvation. Rejoice, initiator of inf interior renaissance. Rejoice, administrator of God's beneficence. Rejoice, for you regenerated those who were shamefully conceived. Rejoice, for you reeducated those whose intellects have been seized. Rejoice, incapacitator of the deflower of sanity. 
Rejoice, procreator of the sower of chastity. Rejoice of ungamic union, the bridal room. Rejoice who unite believers to the Lord as groom. Rejoice, O beautiful nursemaid of virgins. Rejoice, O bridesmaid of souls that are holy. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. Unsuccessful is every hymn that hastens to pay tribute to the multitude of your tender mercies. For even if we offer you odes in number equal to the sands, O holy King, yet we do, no, we do nothing worthy of what you have given us who cry to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Viewing the Holy Virgin, we see the light-bearing lantern that shone upon those who were in darkness. For she lit the immaterial light, and to divine knowledge thus conducts everyone, enlightening the intellect, and honored by such acclamations. Rejoice the ray of the intelligible day star. Rejoice the beam of the unwaning luster. Rejoice flash of lightning that brightly illumines souls. Rejoice, who like thunder have stunned our enemies. Rejoice, for you cause the rising up of the light that brightly glows. Rejoice, for you cause the gushing up of the stream that mightily flows. Rejoice, who illustrate the baptismal font's image. Rejoice, who illuminate the stain of sin stigma. Rejoice, the laver washing out consciousness. Rejoice the crater, serving what gladdens hearts. Rejoice the fragrance of Christ's aroma. Rejoice the life of, myst life of mystical feasting. Rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride. Rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride. Wishing to grant remission of ancient obligations, he who cancels the depths of all people came himself as a stranger and dwelt among those who were from his divine grace estranged, and tearing up the bond of sin, is he hears from everyone. Alleluia! Alleluia! Extolling your birth, giving with songs, we all praise you as a living temple of Theotokos. For the Lord, who encompasses all in his hands, having made his abode in your womb, sanctified you and glorified you, and taught all people to cry to you. Rejoice, O tabernacle of God, the Logos. Rejoice, O holier than the holies. Rejoice, ark that was gilt by the Spirit. Rejoice, life's inexhaustible treasure. Rejoice, exquisite diadem of kings and so with true beliefs. Rejoice, reverential pride of profoundly pious priests. Rejoice the church's unshaken citadel. Rejoice the empire's fortress that never fell. Rejoice through whom rise trophies of victory. Rejoice through whom fall enemies utterly. Rejoice my bodily health restoration. Rejoice my soul's everlasting salvation. Rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride. Rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride. You, O oh, laudable mother who gave birth to Logos, who is holiest of all who are holy, O panim ni temi teri te kusa ton pandon aion aiato aiota ton logon. You, O lauded mother who has given birth to the logos, holiest of all who are holy, 
all accept this offering now from calamities. All deliver everyone and redeem from the future torments of hell those who cry out with zeal. Alleluia. Alleluia. Angelos protostati suranothene tempi, ipindi theotoko to chere, che sintira somaton phoni, somadumene se theoron kirie existato, che istato kravgazon prosapin tiaftam, Κέρε δι ίση χάρα εκλάμψη, κέρε δι ίση άρα εκλείψη, κέρε το πεσόντος Αδάμ η ανάκλησης, κέρε των δακρύων της Εύας η λύτρωσης, κέρε ύψος της αναβάστων ανθρωπίνης λογισμής, κέρε βάθος της θεωρήτων και αγγέλων ιοφαλμής, Κέρε ότι υπάρχει βασιλέο καθέδρα, κέρε ότι βασάζει των βασάζων τα πάντα, κέρε αστήρε φαίνον των ηλιών, κέρε γαστήρε θεού ακόσεω, κέρε δι νεργή τεχτήση, κέρε δι βρεφουργή τεχτήση, κέρε νύμφη. Ανήν πεφέμ Για να νήν Τι ανήν πεφτά Ο Τσέμπιεν Γενερό on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. O planter of creation, Lord, to you does the entire world bring as an offering the God-bearing martyred saints as being nature's first fruit. At their earnest entreaties, keep your church in a state of profound peace. Through the Theotokos, O Lord, abundantly merciful. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kirileson, 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 kirileson. Kirileson, 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 kirileson. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. O Christ God, who at every hour and time 
in heaven and on earth are worshiped and glorified. O long suffering, very merciful, very compassionate Lord, who loves the righteous and has and love the righteous and have mercy on us sinners, who who call all to to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Do also accept our prayers at this hour and direct our life in the way of your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our conceptual image, and deliver us from every tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with your with your holy angels, so that guarded and guided in their camp, we might reach the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your unapproachable glory. Blessed are you unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and, glory, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word. You are truly the Theotokos, you do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. God be gracious to us and bless us. May he shine his countenance on us and have mercy on us. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. O oh, spotless, undefiled, and corrupt, immaculate, pure virgin, lady bride of God, who by your extraordinary conceiving united God the Word to humanity, and joined the outcast nature of our race to the things in heaven. O oh, only hope of the hopeless and help of the beleaguered, the ready assistance of them that run to you, and the refuge of all Christians. Abhor me not the abominable sinner who with depraved thoughts and words and acts have rendered myself altogether worthless and have willfully become a slave to the languor of the pleasures of this life. But rather as the mother of the God who loves mankind in your own loving care for mankind, take pity on me, the sinner and prodigal, and accept this supplication of mine offered to you from sordid lips. And employing your motherly candor, entreat your son, our master and Lord, that he open his humane and benevolent heart to me, and that overlooking my innumerable faults, he convert me to repentance and make me a proficient worker of his commandments. And inasmuch as you are merciful, sympathetic, and charitable, ever be with me in this life as a fervent protectress and helper, blocking the assaults of the adversaries and guiding me to salvation. And in the hour of my departure, Escorting my wretched soul, driving far from it the dark visages of the evil demons, while on the dread day of judgment delivering me from eternal torment and making me an heir of the ineffable glory of your Son and our God, which glory may I attain, O my Lady Most Holy Theotokos, through your mediation and assistance, by the grace and the love for mankind of your only begotten Son, our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, to whom is due all glory, honor, and worship, together with his unoriginate Father and his all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. the drives of the passion, close at noon, arrest the insurrections of our flesh, our every earthly and material way of thought, grant, O God, a wakeful mind, clear thought, a watchful heart, that is like a tree above the tree, rouse us at the hour of prayer, 
affirmed in it and that we are upholding in ourselves the unbroken line that we are going to sing. Grant that we may sing your glory all the night long. In him that you bless and glorify your all honored and majestic name. Of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever until the ages of ages. Amen. Most glorious ever virgin, blessed Theotokos, present our prayer to your Son and our God, and ask that through you he save our souls. Hope is the Father, my refuge is the Son, and also is the Holy Spirit. Glory to you. O Mother of God, I have committed my every hope wholly unto you. Keep me under your shelter. Holy angel, attendant on my wretched soul and my afflicted life, forsake me not a sinner, nor depart from me because of my lack of self-control. Give no place to the wicked demon to dominate me through prevailing over this mortal body of mine. Hold my wretched and feeble hand and lead me on the way of salvation. Yes, O holy angel of God, the guardian and protector of my wretched soul and body, Forgive me everything that I have done to trouble you all the days of my life. And if I have sinned in anything today, shelter me tonight and preserve me from every prank of the enemy. Let I not anger God by any sin. And intercede with the Lord on my behalf, that he strengthen me in the fear of him, and that he make me a worthy servant of his goodness. Amen. O Virgin Theotokos, rejoice, Mary full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, for you gave birth to the Savior of our souls. Glory to our God. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Master, give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, at the intercessions of his all immaculate, all blameless, and holy Mother, the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the saints whose memories we celebrate today and of all your saints, have mercy on us and save us for as much as he a good God who loves mankind. Let us pray for peace of the world. Lord, have mercy. For all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Savas and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy. For our absent fathers and brethren. Lord, have mercy. For those who hate us and those that love us. Lord, have mercy. For those who are merciful to us and serve us. Lord, have mercy. For those who have requested us the unworthy to pray for them. Lord, have mercy for the release of captives. Lord, have mercy for those traveling by sea, land, and air. Lord, have mercy for those lying ill. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for an abundance of the fruits of the earth. Lord, have mercy. And for all of our fathers and brethren, those who have fallen asleep before us, the Orthodox here and everywhere piously laid to rest. May their memories be eternal. Let us also pray for ourselves. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Nore otita Yeah. 
fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity bless and protect all of you, and may the Panagia intercede on our behalf. Please be seated for a moment. Just going to um, clarify things for tomorrow and announce, especially for those who are online as well, um, as many of you may or may not know through the email that was sent in the one call tomorrow at 2 o'clock p.m., we will be having the service of Holy, the Sacrament of Holy Unction, the Eteleon, being offered here at All Saints by His Eminence, um, and six of us clergy, there will be many others in attendance. Um, please, we begin at 2 o'clock p.m. I know people are going to try to get here early to get seats. Um, please do so, the doors will be open. Uh, we will be at 75% capacity inside, which is now the new policy of the metropolis. Um, and also, once we have filled our seating capacity up here, and the, the uh, parish council and Narthex members know that number, then we will have additional, so there's about eight room for 80 people downstairs. And then we also, it's going to be a beautiful day out, have outside. So, please be understanding. If you come and are asked to go elsewhere, everyone will have the opportunity to come up, come in work from wherever you are, to be brought forward, to be anointed, and also, God willing, if Father's strength allows for him to greet each and every person that is coming tomorrow. Um, he will be serving with us tomorrow, uh, the, the Holy Unction Service. Um, this is a very interesting uh, event. This isn't something you would see often take place, but as you have read in Presbyteros Caring Bridge, as well as the email in the one call, this is our final opportunity in public to have a, an interaction with Father George. If he FaceTimes you, if he calls you, if he Zooms you, if he sends you pictures, that's on his accord. But at this point, the family is going to um, go to their home and to allow Father to offer his final moments, however long they may be, with his family and with his loved ones uh, and fulfill his earthly ministry and the journey that remains on this earth. It's a very trying time for all of us as a community. Know that your parish leaders and I am here for you, as well as many of the other local clergy, his eminence, uh, as we digest the days, weeks, God willing, months, you never know, to come. But again, Presbyter has been straightforward. We're trying to be as straightforward as we can, so please uh, know that tomorrow is that opportunity. Um, we will be full, I could imagine, downstairs, everywhere. So um, again, I understand if people stay away because of everything going on with COVID, totally understandable. Um, but please know that that will be the process tomorrow. A lot more directions will be given. But you know, tonight we gather together here in the church and we ask the Panagia, for her intercessions. We constantly ask for her intercessions, for her blessing, for the peace that comes from her son, for the peace from above. You know, oftentimes when trying times like this happen, we pray for miracles. And we always pray for miracles. And we continue to pray that the Lord may intercede here. But we also know that everything that comes from the Lord is his will. And it is good. Father George is an incredible spirit, stronger than any of us, I think, would be in his shoes. So, as Presbyteria said to the parish council the other night, there's the Greek word harmolipi, which means joyful sorrow. She changed it a little bit. She said, sorrowful joy. This is a joy. This is a celebration of life, a celebration of God. And, and, and nobody knows that more than our beloved Father George. Nobody has expressed that more than Father George. So we come tomorrow, we come to these, these days and month, weeks ahead with sorrow, but all of it with joy. You know, someone was saying to me the other day, and they said, I hope Father George is here for Pascha so he can see the resurrection. And I said, folks, He's going to the resurrection. Whether he sees it on this earth or not, 
the reality is is he's going to experience things that we will experience, God willing, a long time from now, or whenever the Lord calls us home. But there's just something special about the way that Father and Presbytera have expressed themselves over these last months, and especially her caring bridge yesterday. Again, it's natural for us to be sorrowful. It's natural for us to grieve and to mourn, but look at tomorrow as an opportunity to see Father while He's still with us. How, ma- how many of us are given that warning? How many of our loved ones who have passed are ever given this warning? The Lord is allowing us to prepare our hearts. He said to us months ago, this is the reality, be ready. And again now, with the news that has come, the Lord is saying, get your heart ready. I'm not going pu- to pull him out of this world without allowing you a little mercy to prepare your heart, to harden your heart. Three years ago, but when Father Dragan passed away, we didn't have that warning. We didn't have that opportunity. We didn't have the opportunity we will have tomorrow. The Lord is being merciful to us. and He's allowing us to prepare. We can never be fully prepared. No matter how much I say it, no matter how much you say it, we'll never be fully prepared for what is to come. But together as a parish, together as a family, we will get through. We will come out on the other side of this stronger than ever before. It may be hard to believe right now, but there are wonderful and beautiful days ahead here at All Saints. And it's not because it is only through the foundation of past generations, but of the foundation and established spiritual ministry that Father George has established in this parish. Again, I'm sorry that these are uh, to be the Debbie Downer, but this is the reality that we face, and this is the honor but the, uh, that, that I have to, to welcome you tomorrow to this opportunity um, to see Father George. So I hope to see many of you tomorrow. Again, please be patient with us tomorrow as we prepare um, and as we give directions uh, for the Esteleon service. The service is not like Holy Wednesday where it's very long. It'll be a little shorter. We've cut out part of it. That's technically not part of the, of the, the sacrament. So the service will run probably still about an hour because there's seven Gospels and everything. So be prepared for that. Um, yeah, so God willing, we'll see all of you tomorrow. May the Holy Trinity bless and protect all of us. And may the Panagia give us the strength to watch exactly what she watched. To watch someone she loved being crucified. We are not watching someone being crucified, but seeing someone being resurrected from this world and entering into life everlasting. Again, may the Holy Trinity bless and protect all of you. Please come forward uh, and venerate to the icon of the Panagia on your way out this evening. Seeing the beauty of your virginity and how resplendently shone forth your chastity, amazed was Gabriel who cried to you, thus O Theotokos, what shall I present to you? As a worthy encomium, what shall I address you as? At a loss and perplexed am I. And as ordered, therefore, thus I shout unto you, Rejoice, O maiden, full of grace.
of your virginity and how resplendently shone forth your chastity 